Help! I feel like I'm being boxed in. <laughs> Was it not funny? It was a little bit funny. It was a little bit funny. He's the whittle. Oh. C7 Viper! Ba, 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 ba. <gasps> Good morning! And happy birthday, everybody! I've got some boxes to knock down and then open up. <sighs> because today, I purchased every single mystery box item available on Evic. Why did I do that, you might ask? So that you can find out what might be in them without actually having to spend your money first. Yeah, that's right, I'll do it. Not you, not Hermione, me! No, Ron, no. <laughs> so, we have to get through a lot. I know it looks like four mystery boxes, but I guess they combined a few things to save on shipping costs because there should actually be like seven, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there should be seven. We've already figured out by tracking numbers what is inside each one. So we're gonna go through them one at a time and open up all these wonderful Evic open box items. But what am I gonna use to open the Evic stuff? I'm gonna use uh, Evic stuff. This is an old swag pack that I got recently and- That's it? Yeah. That's all we got out of that swag bag? Uh, this I think was the swag pack 6th edition 2021. Oh, maybe it came with like a water gun. I think it was taped to the water gun, yeah. There's a sticker, there is a target, and a mask. And quite a few people have asked me in the past to use a swag pack, to open a swag pack, and uh, there's a swag pack in here somewhere, so we're gonna use a swag pack to open all of it. Everything on the Evic website. Not everything, but all the mystery things. One day it'll be everything. One day. <laughs> All right, what should we get started with? Let's see. This right here is the box of things from the scrapyard. That sounds like a good thing to start with to me. So let me rearrange everything here, and I'm going to snap my fingers, and then... Well, that was really easy. Now we have this one to open. This thing is really heavy. We're going to use the swag pack to get right in there. And I'm not even going to take anything out. I'm just going to use the pack itself. Oh, I already ripped it. The swag pack is... Not holding up well. That was easy. This has always been one of the more fun things to open. They are never in stock for very long and it's literally just stuff lying around their boneyard. We did seven of them once. We did four at another time. This was what we got the weird blue spheres from, which update. They were little balls that went inside of a vending machine that held hex patches. You'll never guess what the first thing is in this box. Maybe you did. Shit. Paper! All right, we got some paper. It's looking good already. I'm really excited because these boxes are always so much fun. I didn't get a ton of them because obviously we've already got a ton of other things. Let's find out. First, I see this thing. This doesn't look boneyard. This is goggles case. They're in there. Ooh. They look dirty. Fan goggles. They've got the protective film on them still. Oh, it's a dirty film. This is such a dirty film. All right, kids, don't watch the dirty film. Oh, oops. <laughs> oops, that's all you gotta say for yourself? Let's find out if it works. I got them to work. I just pressed the button a couple times and it came on. The fan does indeed work. So we got some fan goggles. All right, they're not even boneyard. They don't even look used. The film is still on them. So that's the first item. It's looking pretty good. We gotta get through this stuff quick though because there's so many more boxes and I don't want this to be a 24 hour marathon. Next is this super cheap little red dot that's missing like every part. Now it's broken more. Every part's missing. The rail thing to hold it on, the battery cover, and this is like just plastic. Next we have a complete front assembly to a very CQB M4, maybe a 733, not sure. This is a metal mid cap. No brand name, but full metal. <laughs> Thunder B core with the pin in it. Looks like it's in working condition. I would have to put in a CO2 and a shell to find out. That's a heavy duty belt. Oh, it looks small. Try it out. It does fit? Yeah. Well, it's yours now. That's a really nice one too. That's like a heavy duty belt. All right, next. This is some kind of cylinder for a sniper. It doesn't look used, it looks new. What is this? Oh, this is the box mag top to a 249. Wonder if there's a 249 box mag in here. 
Here's another belt. This one's a cheaper belt. Not as nice as the last belt. Super cheap sling. Okay, these are WeTech emblems for pistol grip. They're little sticky emblems that say WeTech and they go on, I guess, a high kappa or something. Oh, there is a 249 box mag, just not that kind. I already have a couple of these. They fit pretty well in the featherweight that I got not too long ago. That's good to have. Oh, this is trash. Wall charger with a large Tamiya trash box. This is a little bag for eyewear. There's no eyewear in it. A red light so that you can call your hit at night. Doesn't work. There's a big SIG sticker and a classic army patch. Okay, there is no space, but it works. Another set of Wii emblems for pistol. A CO2 high kappa mag. A green gas Glock mag. Broken double high kappa mag. One feeding lip on the right. My right is broken. An ASG long type motor. GBBR M4 mag. And we got a card. It's a queen. As in queen my dishes please. We do save these. I don't know what I'm ever going to do with them. But buy a box. I actually probably should have held on to that box to put everything in. So I'll be right back. All right. There wasn't like one big ticket item in this box. But I will say that the box mag was pretty cool. The goggles that they worked. They were really cool. And and the miscellaneous magazines, they could always come in handy. And obviously the belt that Mrs. Viper took from me. And this whole box was $39. So that's the first one. And next we have this second box. This is the open box item, three mystery airsoft products, non-gun value at 150 plus. All right, let's open this one up. This was 89 and it has a promised value of over 150. And let's find out exactly what that is right now. There's no paper on top. So the first item, they graced us with a packing vest. This one's more of a chest rig. I don't have one like this. How's it look? Ugh. All right, that's cool. Now there is three items. I think this is the next item. It is a drop leg pistol holster in the same camo. And the last one is an MK helmet, Matrix. Let's see what kind of helmet we got. It's got all the inserts. This is brand new. So we found the helmet on Evic 440. The holster, 20. And I believe this to be 55. Quite undervalued. If it was 150 plus, I don't think it was there. Even if the helmet was 50, I wouldn't see it all. But from one disappointment to hopefully not another. This box has three mystery boxes inside of it. It should have a swag pack, a mystery mags pack, and a $99 open box item. Using the swag pack to open a swag pack. You know what they call that? Swagception. First we have an abundance of paper. First, let's check out the card that was on top. Nine of diamonds. That's a good one. We got a second card. Mystery mags pack. This was the open box item three. Gas blowback GBB magazines. We have a GBB 608. Second identical one here. I believe these are for a SIG P226 or 229. Green gas high kappa mag. They should all be in working condition. So for the three mystery mags, it was 60. That's 20 a mag. That's boring. Yeah, mags are boring. I didn't really foresee the gas blowback magazine opening being the highlight of this video. Moving on. This is our swag pack. It's taped to some kind of box. It looks like a pistol box. Everything's like ripped off of it, but it's EMG. All the stickers have been removed. It is in rough shape and they scribbled out open box item over 280. They scribbled it out. Let's use the swag pack to open the swag pack. This is a rough looking pistol box. It's an EMG salient arms pistol box. We got another card inside our swag pack. First, I'm gonna check that out. Looks like there is an Evic fishing Gator, American flag Gator. Uh, our next card is a Thompson, nine of clubs. Whatever this is, the box is already ripped apart and it sounds like there's loose pieces in here. Listen, like Legos. That is not one complete put together pistol. Oh, okay, it is a complete put together pistol. The mag was just rubbing on this loose, barrel that's an inner barrel that looks like maybe it's threaded so it is a little rough 
originally the slide release wasn't working, but the more I do that, the more it seems to work. They do have a second barrel inside the box. I believe it was supposed to come with the threaded barrel installed, but instead it's just got an orange tip, non-threaded, which is fine. It doesn't look like anything's wrong with this. It is the EMG SAI Blue, B-L-U, and it's really cool. It's got some gold bits to it. The mag release, the back of the grip is gold. I'm not too certain on the functionality, but this is a two winner swag pack. It's the first time I've ever had a winner swag pack. One time I got a one in 50 open box that was just a cheap electric AK, but this is the first time I've gotten anything of substance from a swag pack and I have bought probably 100 swag packs in my day and I guess it finally paid off. It is a $180 value if it was brand new, but it's not obviously because it was in a beat up trash can of a box. But what do you expect for $16.99? Swag pack win in my book. That's really cool. Oh no. Moving on. I'll probably do a short shooting test of this in the members section, the members only content. So if you're interested in joining the members only part of the channel, it's $4.99 a month. Click join down below. It's next to the subscribe button, which you should have already clicked as well. And we're going to see if this thing is actually all it's cracked up to be. Look at that box. It is so... Ugh. But hey, it's a win. A win is a win. We got one last item. It is a very long boy, nondescript cardboard box. So yes, this is the $99 open box item with a value of 140. We're gonna see what this is. And as always, open box items are either returns or overstock stuff, who knows, but it's something that they guarantee is supposed to function. Ah, CM703 Sniper. I'm pretty sure we got one of these recently in a BOA. Gave it away. Yeah, that's right. This is an L96. Let's get rid of the poison nerds. It's got some loose BBs in a bag. Speed loader. A mag. And this was quality tested on 11 by KL. And it chronoed at 390 to 405. Again, it's just um, an L96 style sniper. So originally it's supposed to be 148. It is on sale right now for 119. That is again under the value that they promised. It's on sale. If I could purchase it right now for like 120, it's not 140. All right, so the $99 open box item was a pretty decent sniper. This would be good if you wanted to get out and be a starter sniper out on the field, this wouldn't be a bad platform to start from. Ugh, the final box to unbox. This should have the mystery $65 open box item and the mystery $200 open box item with a value of over $280. Many of you may remember my recent video where I gave things to everyone at the field and my good friend Jerry, AKA Ginger Biscuits, only wanted something mystery themed and he ended up with a $200 open box item and that item was amazing. Go check out the video if you haven't already after this obviously. But we're going to use the swag pack to open up the last of the boxes and just get on in there. Okay we finally got in to the final box with the swag pack and I feel paper! We got our money's worth in paper products. I do feel two items in here. I don't know which one's which, but first thing I see is a card. This is a king and it's got a Barrett on it. If only we had a Barrett in the box. There are two boxes in here. First one. And this was quality tested on 11 21 again by KL. So KL, you're doing a great job. Let's check this out. It's already like coming out of the box. Get rid of the poison nerds. This is a SEMA Sport M4. The box said 1122. The tag says 1117. KL, what are you doing? Pick one. You don't get to test it twice. It's got a neat rail. The whole thing's all plastic. A metal high cap though. So for $65, we got a $145 AEG. And KL quality tested it, so that means it must work. So, okay, wow, this is one of the best open boxes. I know it's all plastic SEMA M4, but for $65, you get a working, pretty much brand new SEMA M4. There's a scuff on the orange tip. That's it. Uh, yeah, that's a win in my opinion. For 65, you get a SEMA M4. 
obviously I'm gonna do a giveaway with it. So stay tuned, subscribe if you're not already. Yeah, I can't keep it all, guys, obviously. That leaves one thing, one thing left. One mystery item, the grand finale. I saved the best for last. This is the $200 open box item from Evic with a value of at least 280, if not more. And from the looks of everything else we've gotten, it might be my lucky day. I'm really hoping it is. So let's flip the box and find out right after these messages. Stop peeking, it's the messages. Just kidding, there's no commercials here. This is YouTube. I, I mean, I didn't put any additional commercials. Tipman, it's a Tipman box. Tipman Tactical M4, gas powered with realistic recoil, adjustable velocity and rate of fire. It's CO2 mags. It is very dusty. So there is a standard? Oh, ooh. Hmm. There's a CO2 magazine sold separately, but it takes a 12... 12 gram CO2? Yeah. That's what this is. Do I have 12 gram CO2? I don't think so. It's either 12 gram CO2 cartridge and the 80 round magazine sold separately or the built-in remote line. It comes with an HPA fill nipple attached to grip. Yeah, there is a CO2 or a HPA tap thing here, okay. but it's made. It's versatile. You can change it out. I'm going to try it. I'm going to put CO2 in the CO2 mag. You're supposed to just put the CO2 mag in the gun. Safety first and it functions. All right, let's try full. Rate of fire slow, but it still works. Okay, it's a CO2 HPA airsoft pew. So with the items here in this little baggie, you can convert it from CO2, which it is set up for now, and run it HPA tapped through the grip here. So I could use it as straight up HPA, or I could use it as CO2 with multiple mags if I had more than one. But I believe the CO2 stuff should be sold separate. I don't think it comes with it. So it's supposed to be HPA tapped with a separate CO2 capability, and this one came with both. This is the 120 round Tipman mid cap for HPA tapping. And obviously we've got the 80 round CO2 mag. I wonder if I do, if I take the mag out, will it leak the CO2? Yeah, that's what I thought. But once you take the mag out, the CO2 is wasted because the CO2 goes in the mag. Uh, wow. So $400 value. 400 on our $200 value. That is double. We got double the value on our investment here. You really can't beat that. All right, so that was everything. Literally everything available on the Evic website that was mystery box related. I just thought this would be a fun video idea because usually this many mystery things aren't in stock at one time. Usually you get one or the other, swag pack, maybe an open box, box of things, but I managed to catch it when seven of them were available. Everything was valued at higher than we paid. Yeah, but we don't talk about that. All right, everybody, that's it for me today. I hope I didn't take up too much of your time, but thanks for watching anyway, and like it if I made you laugh, because I'll do it again. And I did do funny things. This time. This time. Every time, hey, every time. And don't forget to click that little subscribe button if it's red, because if it's red, that means you're not subscribed, that means you're not part of the team, and that means you can't have cool things. So have cool things. Click the button, make it gray. That's the way. And before I go, I'm gonna ask you guys a question. What was your favorite item out of all this stuff? All of these open box, open boxes. I opened all the boxes, the open boxes. What did you like that I opened out of the boxes? Ugh, I'm losing it. Was it the neck gator? <laughs> gator, I barely know her. Happy 2022 and I'll see you guys later. See if you got any better throwing in the new year. Haha, <laughs> blocked it! <laughs>